Hi, Tony here. This video is about lasers and the, pretty much the, te the technology that has brought us in, a, in our everyday lives and some of the theory behind how, it, how they work and some of the physics um, involved in um, how they function. Um, hope you enjoy. Peace, love. Laser technology, as we all know, plays a big role in science fiction movies and books. And it's no doubt thanks to these sorts of stories that we now associate lasers with futuristic warfare and spaceships. But lasers play a huge role in our everyday lives, too. The fact is they show up in an amazing range of products and technologies. You'll find them in everything from CD players to dental drills to high-speed cut metal cutting machines to measuring systems, tattoo removal, hair replacement, eye surgery, medical procedures of all types. They all use lasers. The military has created quite an array of laser weapons. Some pulse lasers are well over a thousand watts and enough to destroy or disable anything. Lasers used in space can provide accurate measurements in spacecraft and alignment and positioning and soil analysis in, as in the interferometry experiments. And in the lab, it is a powerful research tool. Theoretical physicists have had their horizons opened up with the use of lasers in experiments like the double slit experiment, showing the possibility that a particle like a photon can be in many places at the same time which is showing some promise towards the parallel universe theory. But what is a laser? A laser is a device that emits light, electromagnetic radiation, through a process of optical amplification based on the stimulated emission of photons. The term laser originated as an, an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Ordinary light, like sunlight, is made up of different wavelengths or colors of light. If you put all the colors together, you get white light. Second, all the wavelengths are in phase of a laser. That is, they are all waving together. All the wave crests, high points, and, and troughs, low points, are lined up. Scientists say that the light is coherent in a laser. Laser light can exist at any light frequencies, such as ultraviolet or infrared. These cannot be seen by the human eye, uh, so invisible lasers at high wattage can be even more dangerous in that aspect as well. Never point the laser at anyone, or a vehicle, or an aircraft, or a boat. The distraction may well result in an accident, as well as the potential for eye damage. Most pointed lasers are less than 5 milliwatts and won't burn, but can be a distraction. In a highly concentrated and engineered event, astronomers flashed the two huge searchlights along with one shining one watt blue laser at the ISS International Space Station. This took a number of engineering calculations. Tracking space station's path as it streaked across the sky was another challenge. The International Space Station circles the globe at an altitude of approximately 220 statute miles or about 350 kilometers above the Earth. The one watt laser could clearly be seen by astronauts. That's the one watt laser as seen in this picture taken here by the astronauts. And to everyone's surprise, astronaut Petit could also see the blue laser, which when the spotlights were off, he said he could see the blue laser, which was shown steadily. Little, little uh, astronaut Little said, I was pretty surprised that the laser light was that visible from space, as seen in this picture. I have a setup here made for a 2 watt laser, and it's uh, blue wavelength, it's 450 nanometers wavelength, and it's a maximum output is around 2,000 milliwatts or 2 watts. And there you go.